Hi, this is Guy Schwartz, and you're watching Hippies TV. You can call my name. time to time, we at Hippies TV find ourselves at a musical event that we think you might enjoy, even though we did not have the ability to record great audio. Therefore, consider this your warning from us. This program contains substandard audio. Of course, we thought you'd dig the performances and the event, so here we go.
spending most of my life Washing these exes off my hands Been going out to bars and clubs and rocking people Best way that I can And this is just another way You can live with a one child for sure Why will everybody want to live like me? Say hell yeah and selling them for 500 after the show. <laughs> Mr. Guy Swartz will sign it as well and it will go down in value. I'm just kidding. I'm just <laughs> kidding. Wait until you hear this Y'all want to hear some backstory about him? He's a real, real rock star. A real one. Not like me that's played a few big festivals and a couple rock stars. No, no. This guy. This guy. This guy. Jeremy says, Jeremy says he's a rock star because he hasn't given a couple rock stars. <laughs> anyway, yes, he was, uh, he dated Miss Je uh, Janice Joplin, promote dope with John Lennon. He's played with Rush and uh, Golden Earring, countless others. He's the real deal, and he's going to be playing some 420 friendly songs for us, including one I heard during warm up today that was pretty f amazing. I had never heard before about him losing his sack of marijuana. <laughs> But really, he didn't lose it. They just smoked it all. <laughs> Shut up. You find it out in the first course. <laughs> As Ashley says, this song is about the slut on the bus. <laughs> During this time, I'd like to tell a few stories. I was on a bus trip, not from Wichita. I wasn't going to Wichita, but I was going through there. So that part of the song is a lie. But I did meet a female dancer from Europe. And she's like, I was like, do you really dance really well like that? I mean, are you really that good? And she's like... Yeah, I am. She's like, let me prove it. So she fucking takes her shirt off and gives me a dance right there at the back of the Greyhound bus. This shit really does happen when you travel from city to city. It really does. So not everything in this story is completely factual. I didn't her. wish I did.
you, thank you. Can I have some beer? And possibly that little wizard pipe? I'm Guy Schwartz, and you're watching Hippies TV. Hippies TV. Hippies TV. Soon as I smoked it, I couldn't find it. Yeah! I checked my pocket. She checked her lunch kit. We looked all over for that bag of weed. But the only thing I found was this here bag of stems and seeds. That missing weed. That missing weed. We keep looking round and round for that missing bag of weed. But all we find is this bag of stems and seeds. We keep looking for that missing bag of weed. I know I put it right here in this pocket. I wasn't worried. I didn't mark it, so call your dealer, or call a donor, I know this wouldn't ever happen, if I wasn't such a stoner, that missing weed, that missing weed, we keep looking round and round for that missing bag of weed, but all we find is this bag of stems and seeds, we keep looking for that missing bag of weed. As soon as we saw them, we pulled right over. I had to pick some Kentucky wildflowers. An hour later, there was nothing there to roll. So we drove back 50 miles and searched that whole field till we found that bag of weed, that missing weed. We keep looking round and round for that missing bag of weed, but all we find is bag of stems and seeds, we keep looking for that missing bag of weed. Now it seems that the troopers, they don't have this problem. Cause we stashed it out in the back of the van and those guys, they just zoned right in and took us all away and sent us on our way with a couple of citations. We're still paying on today that missing weed. That missing weed We keep looking round and round For oh, that missing bag of weed But all we find is This bag of stems and seeds We keep looking for that missing bag of weed We keep looking for that missing bag of weed We keep looking for that missing bag of weed Michael Kennedy always says Only users lose drugs Thank you, boys and girls. Oh man, we all have. We're stoners. I'm Guy Schwartz, and you're watching Hippies TV. Hippies TV. Hippies TV. They got all the money. They took all the opportunity. I don't think it's funny.
Yeah. Go for madness. Yeah. Because you know the only accurate scene in that whole movie? The piano player in the closet. Give us a song called Reaper Madness for you. My time always slips away. I'm always down to my last red scene. But all the time and money I've spent smoking weed has been time and money well spent. I've sailed the Whiskey River and I've drunk more beer than I need. I've even developed a taste of tequila, getting caught now, smoking all that weed. I got that reefer madness. Light me up, boys, I want to get high. The only way I will leave this world happy is if I'm stoned when I die. I've always got friends when I'm holding. When I'm out, seems like I'm always alone. You want to make yourself a brand new friend at the last concert cafe in 420 and you just say the magic words. Y'all want to get stoned? But I can't find no reefer when I get down to my stems and see. I'm put the mind of a man said it's better to have weed and no money than to have money and no weed. I got that reefer madness. Light me up, boys, I want to get high. The only way I leave this world happy is if I'm stoned when I die. Cheech and Chong said it all, you know. Up in smoke's where my money goes. Or smoking reefer's cheaper than having a hole in your eye. You're putting that powder up your nose. Know. Dear Mr. President, won't you hear our plea? There's about a hundred million of us. We don't want to be criminals. Come on, old mama. Legalize that way. I got that reefer madness. Light me up, boys. I want to get high. The only way I leave this world happy is if I'm stoned when I die. Now I'm laying at my funeral when they put me in the ground. I want my friends to light up big old doobies. Passing fat boys all around. Cause when I get up to heaven, check in for my eternal rest. I'll have a great big old stoner smile up on my face Cause up in heaven, they only smoke the best I got that reefer madness Light me up boys, I wanna get high The only way I leave this world happy is if I'm stoned when I die I got that reefer madness Light me up boys, I wanna get high the only way I leave this world happy is if I'm stoned when I die. Oh man, let's all get high. 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 let The guy has put in so many years fighting this war for you guys that uh, you should find him tonight and say thank you. His name is Dean Becker. Thank you, guy. Hey, another another round for guys who works in New Jack Hippies, please. These are long-term supporters of normal, long-term supporters of your rights and your good times. Give him a hand. Come on. Tomorrow night, 6.30 to 7.30 on KPFC 90.1 FM. Going to do an hour. I do it every week. But this week, you know, maybe you'll be interested. Uh, 
We've got Governor Gary Johnson going to do a live interview with Libertarian Dan Herschel President. We're going to be talking about the cowardice of these other parties and their willingness to eternally support barbarism south of our border. 50,000 dead. And for what? Drugs are cheaper, purer, and more freely available than ever before. The banks are laundering the billions. The prisons are getting built. The prison guards' unions are making their profits. And who benefits? Who the hell benefits? Well, nobody ever wants to talk about that. You know? Well, did we save little Johnny or little Janie from getting high? Well, hell no. If they want to get high, they're going to find a way. You know? Uh, can you hear me? Okay. All right. Um, and, and I guess what I, I really want to talk about is even in Colorado, especially Washington right now, they're arguing over how do we legalize weed. And the big problem now is that the medical marijuana dispensary owners and associates and growers don't want to legalize it. You know? It, it would have happened a couple years ago out in California, but for the objections, the profiteering of the dispensaries. So, I, I guess what it really boils down to is when will common sense, logic, reality itself get involved? When will we realize marijuana, the one drug that's never killed anybody, it is a freaking threat? I mean, come on. And so what we've got to do is be bold enough, courageous enough to stand up, to speak up, to do something. Because you know the truth. Fun. Come on, come on. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Guy Schwartz in the new jacket. <laughs>
slide last night and I don't have the slide I need to do one of the lead songs I was planning on doing tonight. Anybody have a slide? Anybody have a glass pipe with a really straight stem? That would work as well. Or a seed Sound kind of like this. A one, two, three. Oh, 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 
him the cell phone on that end part there, but <laughs> couldn't find the punk in my pocket anymore. I want to thank you guys for coming out and supporting this event and supporting Houston Normal. I want to encourage you to, to volunteer. I want to encourage you to run for office. I don't care what office, I don't care what party or no party. We just need more people running for office that have never run for office before and haven't signed any preconditioned pledges or things like that. I think you guys would make a good bunch. You're watching Hippies TV. Alright, so this is an alien. We have two aliens. We got a purple one and we have a green one. We have a, a blue one as well. Alright, so. Have our so aliens. We, this green one goes out to the first person who can name what movie this line is from. Alright, no, it's not ET. But it, it's an 80s movie as well. I've seen shit that'll turn you white. Alright. Uh, it's such confidence, man. Good for you. Now, I hope y'all like hip hop. Somebody out there. A little bit. You will. Oh, you will.
guys are great. You're great. You're great. Uh, we have to give away some more aliens. So, all right, all right. The purple alien to the person who can uh, who can name the movie that this quote is from. She's got eleven cents, Dad. I don't give a fuck's fat ass who went through what. We need money. I just spent five hundred dollars on four ball tires and a toe. Jesus Christ, vacation. Whoa, look at the big brain on Brad. What is that from? Here you go. All right, to the lovely lady up there, Pulp Fiction. Gentlemen, come up here. Come up here. I know you have a quote from a movie. Think of a quote, sir. Come here. Play it again, Sam. Play it again, Sam, is from what movie? All right, all right, come up here. You said Casablanca. 
you just won yourself an alien. Yay! That was mighty entertaining. It's fun to watch. Watch stoners do trivia. Great. I want to thank all the bands for coming out and donating their time. Cougar TX, Tom the Folk Singer, Guy Schwartz of the New Jack Hippies, Yellow Echo. We have Generation Landslide coming up in just a minute. I uh, also want to make note of the artists that we got in the front of the stage, Morpheus Art. They've been doing their, uh, their painting during the shows. Uh, also, if you haven't talked to our historian over there, He's got lots of great artifacts as far as the history of 420 and all that good stuff. The history of cannabis prohibition. But right now, before we get Generation Landslide up, uh, we got some poetry from Lady Pariah. So y'all give it up for Lady Pariah. Give me champagne when I'm thirsty. Bring my reef for when I want to get high. After the past couple of weeks I've had, I am once again struggling just to get by. So it is no wonder that I am sitting here getting high. With each flick of the lighter, I relax just a little. I don't feel as hopeless towards my unanswered riddles. I will admit freely that I've hit it more than once, and unlike Clinton, I did not fail. <laughs> Every time I hit it, I made sure I inhaled. I calm down with the lingering aura of the smoke. My heart beats a little slower with each dose of the toke. The effect of the carpet eases the commotion. It gives me oxygen right before I drown in my emotions. Now that my heart is numb, sharp as my sight. Now that I'm void of emotion, I can see what is right. I realize that it is no longer in my control and out of my fight. I relinquish the situation and it takes all of my might. And when it is gone, so are my tears. Shortly behind that follows my fears. I can see clearly as long as I no longer feel the emotional cloud. I no longer feel it opening my ears while it screams so loud. I no longer feel it ceasing my eyes to blink or blocking the hormones in my brain that activate me to think. I can see clearly as long as I don't feel for when it is more than sight, sometimes it's just too real. When things get too much for me and I don't think I can get by, I calm myself down and relax. I get high. I get high to forget about the failed stars that I've been wishing, to forget about the ran out warranty and the slipping transmission. I get high to forget about the cigarettes I still can't quit, to forget about cutting down and that cold turkey shit. I get high to forget about all the ones that lied when I felt that we was close enough that for them sure. I'd have died. I get high to forget the nights I went to the movies alone, the nights I needed a shoulder and simply sat at home alone. I get high to forget the looks on people's faces when I look like I may be lost and I'm in the wrong places. I get high to forget the looks that I don't belong, to forget the judgment that the life that I've lived has been wrong. I get high to forget the people at my job that condemn, to forget they are fucking me and I do twice as much work as them. I get high to forget about my broken heart tone, to forget about the nights I've spent and the many more I could spend alone. I get high to forget about the disappointment of broken dreams, to forget about the increase in the decline of my means. I get high to forget about my pending decision to catch a greyhound. If I lose grasp of my situation much more, I may be heading out of town. Only when I smoke, I am unable to cry. To ease my pain, I get high. Give me champagne when I'm thirsty. Bring my reef for when I want to get high. Last one. You enjoy the rest of the show? Ready? Thank you guys for being so attentive. <laughs> I'm Guy Schwartz, and you're watching Hippies TV. Hippies TV. Hippies TV. This is called Garbage Men. Hey. What?